Hey everybody, hi, it's Becky from PowerToolsWithThread.com. That's my blog. I've been talking a lot lately about it being springtime and decluttering and reorganizing and that kind of thing. I've got a lot of tools in my belt that I have learned from Dana K. White from A Slob Comes Clean and I'm Minimal Mom, Dawn from Minimal Mom. I've been watching both of those now for a couple of years. So I feel like what are called my decluttering muscles are pretty strong and I've got some serious decluttering to do. Uh, there's a spot in my room that I have been hiding from you guys for several years <laughs> and it's actually right back up under there and that is a load of blanks, embroidery blanks, whether they're Kimberbell blanks or maybe I got them at All About Blanks. For those who don't know what a blank is, if you're not an embroiderer yet, it is a blank t-shirt or a blank towel or something a blank tote, whatever, that you can embroider a design on. And I've got to figure out this mess. Well, I like where it's at. Um, this is an Ikea corner round table. They no longer make these. So I know some of you, whenever you see it, you ask me about this, but they no longer make them. And it's got a nice, deep, hole under there that is perfect for storing things but not i mean it's honestly it's all just thrown in there it's terrible so everything needs a home to go to and the home i decided to use was an old sterilite plastic three drawer bin this thing that i have had oh gosh 10 years got it at walmart so this has things in it that I have not used in several years. I never reach in here. It was in my old sewing room on the back patio and I moved into this room two, over two years ago. So I need to go through this and get this cleaned out. And it's either gonna go into a trash or a donate pile. And then once the drawers are cleaned out, I'll have a home for the blanks. Before we get into all kinds of pearl clutching, okay, I'm gonna get rid of some stuff and you guys are gonna be like, send it to me. <laughs> no, not gonna do that. As I said, this is about building up decluttering muscles. And I know how much bandwidth I have. And for those of you who watch Dana K. White or Minimal Mom, I'm using those words that I was, I've been taught and I've learned over the years. My bandwidth today as a YouTuber is very different from what it was when I wasn't a YouTuber. Companies take notice as your channel grows and expands and companies want you to promote their products. So I have a lot of inventory that rolls into here that I may or may not have purchased had I not been doing what I'm doing. I have a lot of inventory that comes in that I see in stores and go, oh, I wanna make that. And one of the things that I do as an influencer is I like to stay on top of on-trend fabrics and patterns and things like that that are coming out, not, not just to buy stuff, but to support our industry because we're a little bitty niche in the industry and you know i want to support quilters and quilt shops and that type of thing so i have a lot of inventory probably i would say five to ten times more coming into my house than you have coming into yours and so i have to make some hard decisions on that will i ever use this fabric and make anything from it if, and I have to be very honest with myself, and I know quilters a lot of times we are, well, just in case kind of people, I might need that, I might need that. Right, again, um, going by the container concept, how much space do I have? I have to let the container limit the amount of inventory that I maintain. And the container can be a room, which is very big, the container can be a drawer, the container can be a tote, it can be whatever, 
but eventually you get to a point where if something is coming in, something else has to go out. So I think a lot about that when I buy things, I'm like, okay, if I buy this, do I have a home for it? Because if I don't have a home for it and it stacks up, y'all, that drives me crazy. That makes me crazy because it inhibits creativity. I And I always say I'm not a creative person. I'm not. I'm not a creative person. I know what I like and I'll buy the pattern and the fabric and I'll make it. I didn't come up with that. I did not create that. I like to sew. I like to quilt. I love to embroider. But for me, it inhibits productivity. And that's really important to me to be productive. And I can't be productive when every flat surface is covered with stuff. I can't be productive when it's a hot mess. And I can't be productive when I've got a hole down here that's nagging at me all the time. Hey, you need to handle me because it does. It talks to me. <laughs> does your room talk to you? <laughs> It happens all the time. I'll see something, pick me, make me. I can't do that. I've got to do this. This has got to get done. So I have been meaning to go through this and get this done for months and months and months. And I just needed to kind of think about, okay, I had to focus on, it's going to need a container to put stuff in so that I can keep it. All right. So that is the philosophy behind what I'm doing with what I have. And am I going to donate it? Which probably a lot of it I will. We have a local donation station here in my little town. Or am I going to just toss it? I'm going to toss obvious trash, things that are broken, things that I'll never use that aren't really useful to anybody else. Okay. But everything else I will probably donate. Okay. So let's go through this first so I can find a home and make a home for all of my blanks. So, all right, let's get into this thing. This is really the best thing for all of my blanks because it is short enough to fit up under here. And that was really what I needed. So I will start on this top shelf and I have got scraps. This is a quilt, a dinosaur quilt I was gonna make. It's by um, Wendy Graff from Shiny Happy World. And I printed out all of the pieces. I even have, so the entire intent of these was to applique these down. Scan them in, applique them down. And I still, gosh, I, I can't bring myself to get rid of these. So while I'm gonna, I, this is hard, you guys. Here we go. Very first thing, I'm struggling. I've got to flex my decluttering muscles. Okay. So these were going to be like rocks and grass and that type of thing in the dinosaur world. Let me show you the, here it is right here. There it is. Is that not the cutest thing ever? Okay. So now let's get real about this. This is a lot of work and a lot of time. It's something I wanted to make when my grandson was four. He is now 12. That's how long this has been sitting here. So realistically, am I going to make this? Probably not. What I can do, since I went to all the trouble, is I could save some of these pre-cut pieces that I already have, but like I could save that for a scrap. That's a good size scrap for another applique. All right, so I'll save that one. But these, see, I've got heat and bond in here. These are already done. I will save these usable scraps because we quilters don't throw away our scraps. But all of these pieces that are already cut, you guys, I'm not going to make this. I know I'm not going to make this. If I haven't made it in eight years, <laughs> I'm not going to make it. <laughs> so while these are precious cute, I probably would never use the little flat dinosaur body, but I might use these turquoise. These are large enough to be used for another applique. So I will keep those. All right. So see, I've, I'm, I'm almost there, you guys, but I, 
I don't have them scanned. If I do, I don't know where they're at. So um, I'll keep him for an applique since he's already made up. And then I've got fabric scraps that I'm going to have to throw into my scrap bin. Okay, so I'm going to fabric scraps over here. I'm going to trash over there. And these are reusable applique over here. So this bucket is all of that pattern and fabrics I was going to use for that pattern. So these fabrics can get relocated into my fat quarter. So these belong somewhere else, either in my scraps or my fat quarter bundle. Uh, I have a U-line big tray over here. That's too small to use. It's pre-cut, cut, little pterodactyl, it's adorable. I can't use it. Okay, so scraps. And I just have to go through and decide what do I want to keep. Again, good scraps for applique because fabric is expensive and we know that. Applique scraps. I don't know what that is. Trash. All right. So usable scraps that need to be relocated somewhere else or trash. So this is pretty easy to go through here. I've got stuff I'll use and stuff I won't. So these are relocatable fabrics that can go into my stash. I hate that I'm having to do this. So this is going to require me to go through these, probably iron them out and uh, get them folded right and get them into my scrap bin of where they would go. Yeah, this is a, these are nice batiks. I'm not going to throw this stuff away. That would be crazy. But I do have to go through here and figure out what I'm going to use and what I'm going to get rid of. Okay, so I've emptied this bin. It's got stuff in it. I don't know why it has stuff in it. All right, so there's a scrap. Let me put these in here. Okay, my orange. And this is spiderweb fashion fabric. I don't know why. It's beautiful. I don't need it. I will never, ever use this. I don't even remember buying it, so this is going to be donated. Okay, and a black scrap in a bag with Christmas trees or something in it. I don't know where that came from. I'm going to throw that away. I have some artist drawing paper. Why? I don't know. Trash. And more trash. Look at this. I was able to clean this out. Okay, so this is a batik. This was going to be background fabric for something. So I've got quite a bit of that, so that's going to go back in my stash. This is a quilt as you go. Isn't that adorable? So this could be made into a pillow. It's very cute, and it's already done. And there's another one. There's the little beaver. You guys see these pictures on my calendars, on my computer home screen. Uh, that's where I get all of my little stuff. And I was practicing doing a straight line quilting. Now these were all done by hand. Well, not by hand, by domestic machine. It's not embroidery. And I was using shapes and practicing the shapes. This was from a craftsy class I took of hers several years ago many 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 moons so i'm going to put these in the donate pile because i'll never use them although and i hate to because what if i was to take these and make them into a cute little wall hanging I and mean, they're supposed to be that but i don't have grandchildren young enough anymore for this donate be strong donate <laughs> and here is the printed printed pattern for all of that and you guys if i want to this is it right here isn't that cute if i want to make this I can go back to the website and go get the pattern. I know it's been printed. I don't have any space to keep this. There, 
trash. There's two. Good. I have an empty drawer now, and that's awesome. Okay, the next one. What do we have in here? Who knows? This is a bag from a Creative Notions Quilt Shop subscription. Um, I tend to keep these for giveaways and that type of thing. So this I can relocate in my room. This is the Not Too Sweet Jelly Roll. What is this? This Oh, I use this Kimberbell bag as a project bag for something else. And is there a picture? No. This was from a retreat I went to years ago that was part of something we were supposed to make maybe. So I have all these pre-cuts from a jelly roll and I don't remember, I don't remember. And these are all from the same jelly roll. I don't remember you guys. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this? I don't know what the project is supposed to look like. That's where I'm at with this. I have everything cut. I tell you what I could do. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I guess I could keep it as a kit, but I don't know what the pattern is supposed to look like. Maybe I could look it up and see. I'll never make it. I'll never make this. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to donate it. I will never make this. I know it. I don't have time. Um, it's not something that's current that I would be interested in making. So I'm going to put the pattern back in here and I'm going to zip it up and I'm going to donate it. And maybe some quilter will come across it and want it. So that's a donate. Okay. Uh, this is not quilt shop quality fabric. So, and this is trash. Quilt shop fabric I keep. These all are fat quarters. They can go in back in the stash. There's a dead moth. <laughs> and pretty Stonehenge fabrics. I don't remember why I have these. I think I got these in a grab bag years ago from Scrappy Quilter or something. So um, I'm gonna go through these. So I will keep this one. I will keep the solid red and the solid white. Uh, I would never buy that, so donate. I would never buy that. I would never buy this. Uh, I'll keep that. These two obviously go together. Um, I wouldn't buy this, but together they look great, so I'm going to keep them. I made a quilt out of this fabric years ago, and I'm completely done with it. I don't even want to look at it again. Um, here is a panel. I wouldn't, well, let's see. The gingham is something that would could be used at Christmas. Puppies and kittens, not my thing. Uh, I'd never buy that. The skulls, uh, I don't think so. Skulls and crossbones, no, I wouldn't keep that. Uh, that's a beautiful batik, I'm gonna keep that. And this, I actually made a bag out of this years ago, so I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so that's that, and I have to get rid of 
the dead bugs. So, see, this is a lot of work, you guys. I have my little rechargeable vacuum cleaner in here. He won't fit. <laughs> Put him in the trash. Okay, so that drawer is clean now, and then this one. Ugh. What's in here? So I save the plastic bags that uh, get patterns and stuff in. I've been doing it for years. I have a little basket right down here underneath my scan and cut table where I save all of these bags. Oh, I was wondering where all that stuff went. Oh, okay. So I will put these in here. You never know when you need those. I'm going to ship them out or something. That doesn't go there. Uh, that goes in another spot. This is an adorable quilt that I just loved and I was making this for my granddaughter when she was born and uh, she's nine now so donate donate and um, these are the little wheels that go underneath this thing so I'm gonna put those on so I can roll it in and out okay and another little bag of trash all right so I have a little bit of homework here I've got to do with all of these scraps so this is my regular scrap bin and I'm my scrap bin that I keep all the time is right under here and this so I just I dump that in there. While I have a trash pile down here, I'll show you. So while I've got my trash pile right there, I am not going to clean it up just yet because I might have more that's back up under here. Now I need to go through and we're gonna do this. So let me move these. Stand down here. Ah, spider! Yee! That's another reason <laughs> to clean up. <laughs> ah! Oh, go away! Ooh, y'all hate bugs. Hate them. But this used to be a garage, and that front door—they they, they kind of come in sometimes. Here is a. Uh, pin cushion tote that goes up here. I guess it got knocked down. There's a little trash bag. I'm going to keep that. That was from a viewer. Ugh. I have all my cords organized good for the most part back in here. Okay. Okay. So here's a tote bag that came from Amy Sews. Let me get this out. Here is a mat that my scan and cut could sit on. I guess I could set it on there anyway. I'm not using it, but I could. All right. See, this is what I'm talking about. This kind of stuff comes into my house. Grace sent this to me to promote one year, and I did. And I already have a whole set. Maybe I'll do it as a giveaway. We'll see. I just didn't want to pay the shipping on it. So I'm going to set that aside because you never know when I might need it in my little world of being an influencer. Uh, oh, these are the extra pieces from Collectible Christmas. I'm going to put those up there. Here's a Kimber blank for a, a large 18-inch square pillow. That's good. This is zipper pouch blank. It's a Kimber Bell. Yeah. This is one of those, um, this is a blank and they give you all these goodies and you get the design. 
I don't have the design to make it. I don't have the uh, I don't have the kit to make this. So I think I'll donate it. I don't need this. I'll never make it. I know that. So I'm gonna donate that. I have two Kimberbell Blanks baby body suits. In this one, I've got pink and I've got gray. So I will keep these because these are adorable. I don't even remember where I got these. This is a kitchen towel blank. So I need to make a stack of towel blanks. Here are more tote bag blanks. How many times am I gonna say blank? These are uh, flower sack towels. I don't need that, that's trash. So these are flower sack towels. This is another Kimber Bell. This is from Oh Happy Day. And I think, this is from a class I took that I didn't make this project. So we have some Kimber Bell clear vinyl. I've got a scrap of fabric and I have a blank towel. So I'm gonna put the towel here. The scrap can go in my scrap basket and the vinyl will go with my Kimber Bell. What did I do with those? I've got all kinds of Kimber Bell extra stuff that's gonna show up. I'm gonna stick that in there. Here are two ombre Kimber Bell ombre tea towel blanks. I got these at All About Blanks at the show. I love these wine bottle ones. Isn't that nice? I need to make towels for the people who hosted us in March at that crawfish boil in Louisiana. I really um, enjoyed that. So I have all these towel blanks. And then I have waffle towels. See, I got these from All About Blanks. And I picked these up at the show. I'm sure of it. Cosmetic bag, fully lined. Look at that. This is a Waffle Weave cosmetic dot kit. Oh, y'all, I didn't remember I had this. Perfect little gifts. Okay. Here is a woven blank bag. A man could use this for a young child. Yep. I'm gonna, okay. And trash and trash. And more towel blanks. And a luggage tag blank. And this, while it is, still works, this is garbage. Okay, let's keep going. I'm not done, you guys. It's deep. Here's another Kimber Bell pillow blank, like that beige one that I had. I've used one of these already. Oh, let me see here. Did I tell you I had flower sack towels? There are 24 of them in here. This is a Kimber Bell portfolio. It has a USB and you can embroider right on this. It has a little writing surface with Velcro on the back that sticks inside. It has a little notebook that says, make it happen. And it's just, it's adorable. I am not gonna get rid of this. This was a blank that was a fail. Now I could keep this, the intent was to keep it and put a patch over it. And here's another blank that was a fail. And I was gonna pick all this out and then I said, I'm not doing that anymore. Now, what do I do with these? Do I have the desire or the time? I do not because they're still good totes. I'm going to donate them. If somebody wants to clean them up, they can, but they're still a good tote. So I'm gonna donate those because I've got other ones right up here that I don't need. Oh, we are making progress. Oh, this is my tabletop weightless quilter. This goes over here. I had taken it down for a live I was doing. Ugh. Here are more tote bags, blank tote bags. Okay. Here is a Kimberbell Bella box. And I think yeah, this was a promotion for me. 
uh, that they sent me. It's a make a wine bag and all of that. I'm going to hold on to this. And then the other thing that is back up under there is a featherweight. That's the case for Miss Texas right there. So that's going to stay back up under there. So in here now, let's go through this. This was supposed to be embroidery supplies and it ended up getting taken over. Okay, so I have baby beanies. I have more towels and towels. My husband's outside banging on something. I have an apron, towels, more towels, kitchen towels. Towels galore. Towels, towels. I have baby bibs. I've got high-tack double-sided tape that you do need when you're doing these projects sometimes. There's another towel. Bibs. Okay. More bibs. More aprons. Look at this stuff, you guys. More bibs. Slippers. Why do I have these? Donate. I will never ever embroider on those slippers ever. Okay. More wash away wonder tape. Oh, this was to put together. This is the embroidery garden fabric markers bag and hoop and all that. I made the markers. I'm not making the bag. So I am going to keep the wonder tape. That'll go in a, that, these have a different home. This I don't need. I'm going to throw away the pattern because I can download it again if I need it. And the clip has a home somewhere else over in my desk. So I will put these, actually will go, these go in this drawer right here. I have wonder tape and whatnot right there. There, see, that's how you do that. More slippers I do not need. Donate. Um, isn't that cute? So see, I put a little applique on here. I got a friend, my, well, not a friend, my chiropractor's having a baby girl in August. She can have that. I forgot that was there. I think, I, I think this was a practice, but that's precious. Okay, so that, that will have a new home. I've got onesies. Y'all, this is crazy. I have grown-up t-shirt, big grown-up t-shirt. What size is this? This is a way too big t-shirt. I'm going to donate this. I don't want it. I'll never wear it. And this towel is a rag. Uh, yeah, that's a rag. This has been all cut up. That's trash. Okay. More towels. Y'all, these have been here so long they're starting to yellow. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to donate these because they're starting to yellow. That's pretty. Keep that one. I have a little brim cap okay maybe that's a maybe on the blanks and then I have what is on here I've got some kind of paper on the back of that to give it stability so I'm gonna keep that that's a very pretty linen um, this is a napkin and this is a towel see you guys got to be tired of this by now here's a snowman sticker that has does not have a home this is a, a brim cap frame. This is to hold, this is from Designs and Machine Embroidery. This is old. That's to hold a hat while it's in the hoop. And these are little uh, for your onesies to keep them out of the way and some Target stickers. I knew I had these purple things and I couldn't find them. Yep. So these actually go, I've got most of my dime stuff in here. So I'm not going to go through this dime drawer right now. This is just for uh, blanks. Okay. See, all of this stuff is going to end up going into that three drawer. I just bought two of these to put in my shower. <laughs> it's meant to hold rulers. I don't use this. But I'm going to put it on the other side of my... I'm going to put it in my other shower. So I'm going to keep that. That'll have another home. There we go. And this is a set of quilt hangers that um, I've never used. 
I don't know if I ever will use it. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Don't know. So I'm going to hold on to these. I should get rid of them. Okay. And then this doesn't, this is a project bag. Yeah, I got this in uh, San Angelo. And then this goes to this Yazzie bag right here. All right. My project bags all go in another place. Dime stuff. And then down here, I've got more towels. Y'all, more towels. I have more bibs. And I have some gold stretchy fabric I got at Walmart. This is a folding ruler, a fold away ruler. And I don't care for these. Uh, they don't, I just don't like them. So I'm going to donate that. I'm going to donate both of those. Okay. And then these are all of my serger threads. And I'm happy with that like that. Oh, I think I have enough room for all of this stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and put all of this stuff away into my newly emptied three drawer bin and uh, be a little bit more organized. So more to come. Okay, so I ended up going through the Bella box and anything that it had in it that I might use like a blank or something like that. I went ahead and took it all apart. I got rid of all the paperwork and stuff that I don't need anymore and I don't want to keep because that box is very big and bulky. And if there was fabric scraps in there that I could use that went into my usable, I call it viable scraps area. If there was uh, like a backing yardage in there, that whole uh, pile of fabric that I wanted to keep is on my cutting table right now. That's another day to go through that pile. I'm going to iron them, uh, get them all unwrinkled and figured out what I want to do with them. Put the yardage on uh, comic book boards and get those all incorporated back into the mix so I have them to choose from. I did rescue the Kimber Bell. So like here's the wine bag from the Bella box. So I put the instructions with it and I put it into a bag and it went in. I didn't put it in with my blanks, although I guess I could, but just because it's Kimber Bell. So, oh, let me finish my thought. I did save this zipper pouch. I rescued this and it did go into my Kimber Bell embellishments drawer that I have right down here. So when it, when it came to this, where, when I was trying to decide where to put it, it was originally going to go into my blanks three drawer that I just put back down here that I just filled almost to the brim. My container is full already. No more blanks. <laughs> But one of the things that Dana K. White from A Slob Comes Clean says is, if you need a home for something, you have to ask yourself, where would I look for it first? Where, where would I look for it? So if I was looking for, I would not, I, if I was looking for a wine bag blank, it would occur to me, oh, that was a Kimber Bell Bella box thing that I had. So I would look for it first in my Kimber Bell area, my Kimber Bell drawer. And then this is just additional Kimber Bell embellishments with some vinyl and some gold and that kind of thing. Uh, again, I'm not going to take it all apart, but they're just going to go into my Kimber Bell drawer where I have all the vinyls and all the extra stuff. So I've got plenty of room for that. So. That's what I did is I kind of harvested everything out of the Bella box and gave it a new home. Where would I look for it first and incorporate those fabrics into my current stash? So let me uh, get you down here and show you what I did. Well, let me roll this out first. I know Cass from Clutterbug says don't buy these things, but you guys, it works perfect. And if it works perfect, get it, right? I think I paid $27 for this at Walmart years and years ago. Okay, this is perfect because it fits right under here where I need it to. I've got a piece of tape that I don't know where it goes. Okay, so in here, the lower one is all, the lower drawer is all of those 
uh, my totes, the black totes, the tote bag from the Amy Sews Scan and Cut Create box, and all of my flower sack towels. So those are in here. In here are the towels that are, I've got more flower sacks back here in the back. I could really donate these, I really could. But here are kitchen towels like blanks I got at Walmart. Here are, and these this front row are blanks that I purchased from All About Blanks. So these are high quality, nice gift type towels. There's a little bit of room right there. I have no desire to fill that up. And then up here I have baby, I've got the onesies, I have my bibs, and the pillow, the pillow form, Kimber blanks on the pillows. And these are the ladies and men's dot bag. And then back here, I have the two onesies and the baby beanies. So, and everything has a home and it's other than the bottom drawer. And that's only because I have a gazillion flower sack towels. It's not overcrowded and it's great. And it's on wheels so I can roll it back in here where I wanna keep it. And now I have room back there for more stuff if I wanted, but I really don't want to put anything back there. So that's my presser foot for my cover stitch machine. I have this little ball cap here. You guys, I don't know. This is one of those, I wouldn't want to wear this, so I'm going to donate this. I don't know. It's a $2.99 blank from uh, Hobby Lobby, but it's misshapen in the front. I'm not going to fiddle with it, so this is going to go into my donate bin. So another thing I did down here, let me roll this back. This actually gives me more leg room because now my scrap bin will fit all the way over here. What I ended up doing was stacking my cord keepers. That is a Cyber Power Universal Power Supply. That's just the black box. Those two are those two are cord keepers. These are all sorted out. I'm very happy. I even have an empty drawer up here, you guys. Look at that. It's empty. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, I forgot to put those aprons. So I will slip those aprons probably into the top drawer. I'll find a home for them. Okay, that's enough for today. That was a lot of work. But if I hope this motivates you. If you need to clean out your room, just, you know, just one spot. You noticed I didn't, I didn't even get up from my chair. I just one spot, go through this, go through one drawer. And just a little bit is better than nothing. A little bit is better. Just a little bit is better. So I was able to go through, I, I was pretty aware of what I had. There was very little where I said, oh, I don't even remember buying that. Now I do have some stuff like that, don't get me wrong. <laughs> But when I moved out here from my old sewing room into my new one, I did go through a lot and I got rid of a load of garment fabrics that I knew I would never use again because my garment sewing days are behind me. Uh, I've, I've got to focus on uh, what I can deal with today, here, and now. So I was very happy to be able to save some fabrics that I can incorporate back into my stash and use them again. I was real happy to be able to, to save some of those fabrics that already had heat and bond light on the back of them. I keep all of those right here in a tray in a basket and I've got them here. And a lot of times when I need an applique piece that is not part of a set or a pattern, I will go through this first and dig and see what I can find because I want to use these up uh, as much as I can. And then I was able to get rid of old sets of instructions in the Bella box and the Bella box itself, which is big and bulky. I was able to fill up an entire tote of fabrics I know I'll never use again and I can donate them to a good cause and maybe somebody can use those. And I got a few more that I did keep here in my own scrap basket. And then I have a permanent home for all my blanks instead of in a big heap on the floor. So I'm very glad to have that done. Today was a huge success. So I encourage you to just pick a spot. Do it 
and you need a trash bag, you, de you need to donate, and you need a pile to relocate. So you can take it there now if you want. That's one of Dana's things. She says, take it there now. I wasn't doing that. I'm disciplined enough that I will handle that stack later. So, all right. We will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.